Hey, hey, the moonshine, horsepower, Frankenstein, monster head. Check out that guy. We let the cat out of the bag a little while ago and you haven't seen much about these heads. We're about to dive in to this guy while we run it in the different kits we are currently doing so you guys can figure out what's best for your ride. Let's go. All right, guys, we've gone over the new collaboration we've done with Frankenstein Engine Dynamics in one of our live feeds we were doing for the question and answers. Right here, I have laid out mostly the 131 Ass Eater setup we do, which is a Harley Davidson cylinder with our custom setup on it. Then we have the Moonshine 135 Devil Runner with our custom cylinder we make. You can see it's a little taller right here because the spigot's taller. We'll go over that in a minute. And then for the guys that need more cubic inch than 135, we have a new 139. We've got a prototype piston here, which are our test pistons we've been doing. And we do a 143, which you might have seen the brand new video, the Silverback. Awesome build. Had a pair of these awesome, really unique cylinders on it. So we're gonna start with the ass eater first. We start off with a brand new set of Harley cylinders. Okay, we get them from Harley, we order them in. These cylinders are really, really nice from Harley. Harley does the best job of making the cylinders compared to all the aftermarket ones. The, the finish on the outside of the, the fins are really well machined. They're painted, they're brand new, and Harley actually has this cylinder patented, so no one else can make it exactly like them. This is a chromoly cylinder. It's very, very hard, it's very robust, and the reason they make it out of chromoly is the spigot down here on the bottom is thin. So for that guy to be strong, they're using better materials. When they made these cylinders, the jug, the cylinder liner, the sleeve is put into a mold first and they actually cast the cylinder around the sleeve. Most sleeves are installed into the aluminum jug. This guy is in place, it's actually cast inside of it, which makes it even stronger. So that 131 ass eater starts out a pair of these. The difference between ours and Harley is, that's the only part that comes from Harley Davidson in our motor kit, all right? We torque plate it. We have a piston right here made by CP Carrillo. In all of our kits, when we're done and we're through with all the testing, the final version of the piston is gonna have a ceramic coating on top and it's gonna have the molly film on the skirts. Um, this really doesn't make more power. This is just security for your motor. This helps lube the sidewalls, the ceramic on top, helps the piston expand slower because aluminum will heat up faster than your steel. And when your motor's warming up, it allows the piston to stay cooler longer. It will eventually get to max temperature just like any other piston. But while everything's growing and the motor's warming, it calms down the aluminum so it grows at the same time the cylinder grows. If you grow your piston a little quick in your cylinder, that's where you can get those little nicks and scuffs, and that's why they say startup is the hardest thing on the motor. So a little security blanket on the pistons, a little bit more money, well worth it. But if you look on the bottom of these pistons, underneath them, you can see they're CNC, all right? And what we're doing is we're trying to get the weight down and make the pistons as light as we can make them without losing strength on the top. There's always a little extra meat in here from the process of them forging them, and we're just taking the extra meat out to get down to a weight we want to get down to for them. All right, uh, lighter piston, lighter rod, more horsepower. In our motor kit, the cylinders, they're torque plated, they're honed to each piston. If you look at this piston, that's a rear, and it shows our mechanic which way the piston is gonna be in the bike. So the arrow says it needs to go forward. That would be matched perfectly to the cylinder goes with it. So in each kit, the rear piston will be matched to the rear cylinder. The front piston will be matched to the front cylinder. Most of them are perfect and everything's identical, but some might be off uh, uh, just a skosh. So maybe it's half a thou, maybe the cylinder will be half a thou less for the rear one than the front one just because of tolerances. We wanna match them. When you torque plate a cylinder, what it's doing is it is replicating how that cylinder is torqued inside your engine. So your cylinder is torqued between the bottom of your case here 
and the head that resides on the top of it. And the torque plates are simulating that same stress. That way, if this changes shape, which they do while they're torqued, we're honing it the way it's sitting in your motorcycle or your engine, because that way we can get it as round as possible. The best thing you can do for horsepower, longevity of the motor, not have all that oil blow by, is have a really well finished honed cylinder that's round. The rounder they are, the better. And they need to be finished at the right roughness for what you're running in your rings. All the kits we have here that we're gonna go over, Total Seal, made in America, amazing stuff. We've designed our ring packs to run with our setup. So the top ring's a barrel, Napier second ring, and then we do a high tension oil ring. A little bit higher dollar stuff here. Some of their stuff is diamond finished in our kits. You can go on their website, totalseal.com, and they have everything. They have videos of why their rings are better, what different options they have. We want a high dollar ring to match the high dollar motor you're putting in your motorcycle. We want your motor to run the best we can make it run. So we're trying to find the best parts to put in our kits to make your bike run the best. All right, so that's in all these kits. We run the same ring. The 131 gets a pair of our Moonshine Horsepower Frankenstein heads. On the table here, we have two different style Moonshine Horsepower heads. We have the Frankenstein head, round intake port. Then we have the Moonshine Frankenstein Monster Head goes to that unique square port. The square port allows more air to come in to feed the bigger valves. This guy has a bigger valve. All these valves are 2.5 millimeters over stock on the monster head. On the smaller Frankenstein head, 1.5 millimeters over stock. All right, the reason why the inlet has changed in the head is the bigger valves require more surface area than this port allows. So we needed more. When we changed the port, we had to change some other parts. We'll dive into that. But right now on the 131, you get a pair of these cylinders, torque plated, honed to match your piston. You get a pair of the Moonshine Frankenstein heads. A Moonshine horsepower intake manifold that is a 66 millimeter intake manifold paired with a Harley Davidson. 64 throttle body. That's pretty much what we're running on the 131 ass eater. Over here, there's flywheel. All these motors, we recommend going with a robust flywheel setup. That one's got Carrillo rods. It's done by Dark Horse. It has a new pin from Dark Horse in it, new bearings. They have a center pin inside of the crank pin to help push on it and add support. And then it's welded, trued, and balanced, your setup. So. All these motors, that is a Harley Davidson stock flywheel with the Krilla rods. We also have an option where we do the Man of War flywheel from Dark Horse, which starts with S and S flywheel half. So the only difference between the two setups is this flywheel half and the sprocket side, the flywheel half and the pinion side, those two pieces would not be Harley Davidson. They would be an aftermarket piece, um, which is done by S and S, assembled by Dark Horse for the motors. It's about a $500 upgrade to go to a brand new flywheel, do the Man of War instead of redoing your stock Harley flywheel in your bike. And if you have a 107 flywheel and you want to go to a 135, that's the way to go. You spend $500 and you get the stroker. The other way to do it is we take that short stroke, four and a half inch piston, and we have the new 139 kit coming out, which is right here behind me we're putting together. So really cool setup as well. Something else on the flywheels we want to go over is we have different options to make them heavy. You know, you have your regular Harley one right here is a link to the flywheel video. If you're coming on and off corners, you want a lighter flywheel. If you're drag racing, you want the heavier guy. Once you get that momentum up in the RPMs, it wants to stay up there. It's gonna shift harder second, third, and fourth gear. So drag racing, heavier flywheel. If you're going on and off corners and you're always in the twisties and running mountains all the time and you want the bike to decel really well, that's when we're gonna lighten up your flywheel. Now, this manifold, a lot of guys don't realize how these bolt to the heads. So what happens is you have that guy right there, a flange, and then you have this gasket that goes on like this. This squishes in and gets pulled to the head and that guy will seal. Okay, it's on all of them. There's a pretty good slip joint here. The Moonshine Horsepower Frankenstein Monster Heads. The guys over there, Frankenstein Engine Dynamics designed a manifold just for us for that head. 
So it's an all CNC ported aluminum piece. Very, very nice. Outflows this guy a lot. And that's what's supporting the bigger valves. And when we did that, they had to design a brand new flange and a new opening to match the head. So they did that with a double O-ring flange. So you see there's one inside of it, then one outside that mates the head, and this guy slides on the intake just like that. It is such a tight fit that a lot of guys have contacted us and thought these were actually hard mounted in the manifold. If you look, there it is. There's your slip joint. That way it makes up the difference in there. It does fit tight. It is a really, really nice fitting piece. Um, it's a little more money in this guy, and you can see why. All right, big difference in the port as well. Take a look at the two manifold throats. Big difference. So, the 131 ass eater setup right here which we run with our 550 cam. It's 155 plus horsepower, a lot of torque right off the bottom as well. Then we go to the 135 Devil Runner, all the torque on the bottom, 165 plus horse. So 155 plus, 165 plus horse. Um, these are reliable. We warranty both of these motor setups. Once we go beyond the 135, we don't warranty just by building them. We have our horsepower warranty that covers everything on any of the motors we build that you can purchase. But when we build these, warranties automatically come with parts and labor that we install on them. If we go to a bigger build, we have options for warranty. It just doesn't come with the initial build in the package. So the manifold here from Frankenstein to finish it off, the throttle body, HPI, has a big boy. It's their 70. Look at that guy. 64, 70. We have them designed to run with the 70, and we have them designed to run with the 64. The 64 has an O-ring on the outside here because the Harley manifold uh, doesn't have the O-ring in it. HPI put the O-ring inside of their throttle body here, so this manifold doesn't have it. We have a 600 plus lift cam that we're messing with, we're coming out with soon to work with the 70. Right now we run them with a 64 millimeter throttle body, and that's what's making over 165 horsepower. All right, we're working on the new cam setup and the 70 and we'll have that one out soon. It'll be a 135 with a new name, not the Devil Runner. All right, but that's more high performance, a little less longevity on the valve springs and everything. The 580 cam, big bore, which we came out with, is what we run on the Devil Runner, so it's 580 lift. So the 131 ass heater is a 550 lift cam. The 135 Devil Runner is a 580 lift cam. And then we're gonna have a bigger cam to get past that 170 mark for you guys. And we're working on it, but it's just not out in a full package yet. But wanted to go over the differences in these because some guys have asked what the differences are and we wanted to break it down. Let's check out that 135 cylinder we talked about. If you notice on the table, it's taller. All right, the only reason it's taller is because the piece on the bottom the spigot goes into your engine block farther. It's a bigger piston. Anytime you have a piston that's bigger, when they move this way, there's more movement because the side is farther from the center of the pin. The farther you get from the center of the pin, the more the movement is actually inflated, or it's just more because it's farther out. It's a lever system. So if you notice on ours, since the spigot's longer, we have to index around the oil squirter in your engine case. Also, the cylinders are so big that they'll tap each other. So you see the cut right there. So when we put them in the engine block, they clear. Next to me here is a setup done for our, one of our 143s. Check out this hole, Randy. Big board hole to accept everything. This is where your oil jet sits. So we got to clearance the cylinder around it. And that's why you have this guy right here. That way it goes in the block as far as we can go into the block or the engine case. These cylinders are thicker. It's a thicker cylinder than the 131. That's why we have to bore the case. Um, it is more than twice the thickness at the bottom of this guy. This is a stronger material. What's nice about this, it's a little easier on the pocket because we're not boring your case. It is a less expensive build. This build, a little bit more money because we're boring your case. Also, the downtime for your motorcycle is a little bit longer because we have to bore your case. This guy, this is a two-day build. Your 131's two-day builds with us. When we bore the case, it turns into a four-week build because of the turnaround time we have on the cases.
All right, guys, we're working on it to get it down a little bit less, but right now it's a four week turnaround. We'll have all the parts and pieces. We got to take this guy out of your bike. We send it off. It gets bored, CNC bored. Then it gets back to us. Then we're ready for assembly. Look at that cross hatch. Mm. Now over here, you have a pair of our, a couple of our test cylinders. You've seen these on the silver back. Really, really nice cylinder, um, CNC. We're working on a couple different options to bring these out for the 135. They'll be available for the 139 and the 143s. So we have them now, but we are revising them a little bit um, just to make them a little better. More to come on these when we have them out. You'll like it, I promise you. It's, the wallet ain't gonna like them. All right, guys, they're pretty. That wallet, she's gonna be screaming for a set of these, but they are nice, and we do have that option for the guys that are okay spending the extra money to get something really, really custom. So more to come on that in the next video. I don't know, Randy, what are you gonna do? Throw up some dyno sheets? Let's yeah. look at these things. Big dyno numbers, torque off the bottom. Look at this ass heater. It's just bringing torque all the way down the line. It's producing over 140 foot pounds of torque past 5,500 RPMs. Now let's compare it to the 135 Devil Runner. I mean, it pops over 140 foot pounds of torque right at 2,600. It carries 140 foot pounds of torque to like 63, 6,400 RPMs, crazy. And then it makes max horsepower at 6,600 RPMs. And it hit, was at 167 even on this setup we did. And that one, is with the Moonshine Horsepower Anti-Air Version Patent by Feeling 2-in-1 Exhaust Pipe. Really cool, it's the one that turns gold. That was what was on this bike that did the dyno graph. It also had the 64 millimeter throttle body and it had a 580 cam in it. So more to come on that bigger cam, that 600 plus lift and some different exhaust choices. As we roll it out, we'll do a video just on the Devil Runner and the 135s and the 135 larger setups and we'll do a comparison. Oh, something else we forgot to go over is on our heads. Look how nice that combustion chamber is. So two different ones. Let's flip them over. You can see the Frankenstein logo right here on the bottom. Let's you know who made them. Also on the head, they're serialized. There's a number. Okay, we were doing, these are a couple of the first sets we did. The number was here. You'll see the number moved over here now so it's not in the gasket surface. And that allows us to know what's on the head, when it was assembled, what the specs are what size combustion chamber, what springs we put in them, what valves are in them, when they were built, all that info's on them. This isn't just us putting them together. It's a whole program so we can keep track of everything for you guys. Really, really cool. That way if something goes wrong later down the road, you have the bike four or five years, you need a replacement part, you can call us up. We can run the number on your head, get your replacement parts, nice and easy. We want you guys to call us, all right? Because we have so many different setups. We wanna figure out how you're riding the bike what you're doing, and then we're gonna recommend which motor's right for you. And we have setups with cams and everything that, you know, cam job before exhaust starts $3,000. We have $10,000 kits we do. We have motors that are $14,000 to $16,000 with primary exhaust intake tuner, everything. So it just depends on where you land and the budget you have for the project and the horsepower you want. We'll guide you through that process, answer all the questions you have, because you're gonna have questions on these guys. You're gonna have questions on the stuff we run in the primary. We try to put the videos out there, but we wanna to talk to you, make sure everything's right. Moonshine Horsepower, guys. Moonshine Harley Davidson. We appreciate you guys watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. Down there, hit that subscribe button. After you do that, hit the bell. Get the notifications when we release a video. We're slackers, we're not doing them every week. You need notifications. Click it, it'll let you know when we have a video of cool stuff like this. And then, you can call us and get in your bike. I can get back to work. I need more pistons, more cams, more throttle bodies. Three customers want me to call them back today. One customer, I think I might let Mike call him. I'm not sure, maybe not. I'll let Aaron call him. That'd be a better choice. If you're looking for a build or would like to get in contact with us, the easiest way to do it is to go to our website. Type in moonshineharley.com. Once again, moonshineharley.com. Go to our homepage. On the homepage, there's tabs at the top of the screen. The one in the middle says Performance Shop. When you highlight Performance Shop, a drop down will pop up. Click on the Moonshine Horsepower button. 
Basically, what we need to know is how to contact you. You need to fill out your name, your phone number, and then the bike. The more info you put on here, the more prepared we are when we call you. Your current engine, current parts on the bike, because we want to know what we can continue to use in the build you're looking for, or if you need everything. Um, what parts are going to be friendly to the build you're looking for. And then building goals, what are you looking for? What do you want us to accomplish with your bike? Put it in there. Also put the time frame, first available, you're three, four months out. Let us know how quickly you would like us to get to your build. And then hit that submit button, someone from our horsepower team will call you back. So it'll either be Aaron, Nick, myself, Jamie, or maybe MVO, Michael Van Orden. One of us four will call you back. Our schedule is Tuesday through Saturday. All the horsepower guys, Tuesday through Saturday. The shop is open seven days a week. And typically when you fill one of these out, it can be anywhere from 30 minutes to 48 hours to get back in contact with you. But we will. We appreciate the support. Please, if you haven't already, go to the subscribe button, click that guy. Also, you might want to click on the bell for notifications. Let's you know when we have a live event coming up on YouTube. Also lets you know when we're about to drop a brand new video. We appreciate you guys watching. Thanks for all the support. Have a good one. All the performance, 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 all, 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 performance, all of it. Baggers, baggers, fast baggers, fast baggers. Slow baggers suck, suck, suck.